Hello guys, it is I, Zyapkai. Recently on YouTube, I have been seeing people making games in 24 hours. This sounded like an extremely fun idea to try out, so today I will be making a game in 24 hours total. I will make a parkour game. Well, I love parkour games. I cannot tell you how many Minecraft parkours I have completed. I mean, how hard could it be, am I right? I know how to make games, I have made games in 48 hours for competitions like Ludum Dare before. This will be a piece of cake. Let's just create a project and start programming. So what kind of project will this be? Will I rip off Carlson? Will I rip off Grapple? Well, no. I will make a vanilla parkour game. Every level will have two factors, coin and time. I will place coins on more difficult routes that will probably slow you down. First, I made a player controller. The player controller works in a simple way. If you press these buttons, you walk. If you press this one, you run. And if you press this, you jump. And if you press this, oh don't press- The gravity is just a constant that is multiplied by the delta time twice and removed from the y position. Now it's time to add coins. A coin is just a game object that spins and gets destroyed when you touch it. Shouldn't be that hard to add. First I'll make it spin using the animation system. I know you can use code, I just wanted to use animations. And now, it's time for the epic coding montage. Here we go! Th that was it. it. It really isn't that difficult. Now I was in a call with a few friends and one of them recommended... Hey, wouldn't it be cool if you implemented the beat off that game you were working on? What kind of a stupid idea is that? Let's implement B hopping. Let me tell you how it works. When you jump, it increases your speed. And when you land, you lose that speed. But if you jump right when you land, it allows you to keep that speed. And it works again. Anyways, let's create a timer. You need a timer in case anyone wants to speedrun the game. Because for some reason, people speedrun my old game, Beppis Adventure. Adding a timer is pretty simple, so it didn't take me that long. Except that it did. Apparently formatting a string is not something that I can do. Now we have to add a few more things and we can go make levels. I want moving platforms, spikes and a few more. Let's make the moving platforms. To make moving platforms, I just need to have a platform that moves. I implemented it like this. The platform has a bunch of points. It picks a point, moves to it. Now it's time to add spikes. This shouldn't take long, we will just reset the level. Ah nice, added spikes. Let's test it out. Ah nice, it works. Yay, great, it works. Alright, we know it works. You can stop jumping now. Can you stop? Stop? Please stop? Can you stop jumping in the spikes? Stop! I think I will make a menu now. What should I call the game? Hmm. Dude, what the hell do you want from me? It's 3 a.m. No, no, nothing at all. I just need you to name my game. Dude, call Bajor or something. Uh, name. Now. Speed jump. Thank you. Speed jump. <laughs> That's a nice name. Time to quickly make a menu. While Zyap guy works on the menu, I want to talk about this new video format and videos taking longer to make. As you have noticed, I'm not uploading twice a week anymore. Well, that is because school has started and I have less free time on my hands. Rest assured, however, because I will work harder on my videos and try my absolute best to give you all the best viewing experience I can get. As you know, I only do this as a hobby, so sometimes I have to prioritize things higher than YouTube. And that happened way too much this past week. And well, I didn't have time to work on this video. Everything has settled in now, and there shouldn't be many more of these delays. Sorry for these delays. Anyways, let's continue on with the video. I kinda wanna make the game look uh, good-ish, because right now the game isn't looking good at all. I've had a bit of post-processing in a different skybox. What is post-processing? You take the image, you vac it, and it displays a different thing. This is what the game looks before and after post-processing. Not much of a difference now that I think of it actually. Let's make a tutorial level, so that people who are terrible gamers like me can actually, you know, 
learn how to play the game. I'm at 1 and 5 minutes using floating text. Now it's time to make levels. Now, I might not be good at programming, but do you know what I can do? Not level design. Definitely not level design. I, I created 3 levels in like 12 hours, but 3 levels should do for now. At this point, everything is done. I added everything I wanted to add, and so I will call it done for now. There however are some things I want to add. Overall this was extremely fun, and I recommend anyone who knows or wants to learn how to make a game check it out. I am challenging two other YouTubers to attempt this challenge, Poa and DevNugget. Obviously you do not have to attempt this, but if you do, challenge other creators. Let's create a cycle. The final game can be downloaded from the link below. If you want to speedrun it, there is a speedrun.com link also, where you can submit runs. I want to add features like multiplayer, level editor, online level sharing, community levels and much 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 more. I really hope you enjoyed this video as it took a really long while to make. If you liked this video, please turn that subscribe button grey, it really helps out. Follow me on Twitter if you want updates on videos, lastly, join the Discord for more frequent updates and to chat with the community. I will make more videos like this. I will still continue to make the occasional short and fun video, but this is mainly what I want to do. Until the time being, I'm still Zyap guy and give game development a try. Woo!